Greetings my friends, Jason here with the next video. I hope this finds you well, hope you're doing well. Sorry for the long radio silence, but today I wanna to share something with you that has been on my heart lately. I've actually been talking to quite a few people who are all about you know, getting involved in their own businesses or either getting full-time in their business and getting away from the part-time um, aspect of, hey, I gotta work a full-time job just to have the money to work my part-time job, which is never any fun. Um, you know, I was there when I started my business, scary as shit. Uh, being an entrepreneur, you never know, you know, where your next paycheck is coming from. You got to go out in the world and hunt for it. No one shows up and hands it to you every Thursday or Friday or Monday or depending on what industry you're in. Scary prospect, you know, so for anyone. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about this um, and how you can think about it and make it a little bit easier. All right. So one of the concepts that hit me hard uh, through one of my mentors is the idea that the world is just one big feedback mechanism. The idea that, you know, everything that comes back to you is just feedback from something you've put out into the world previously. And you can think of this analytically as being a system, right? Or a way of thinking. Your way of thinking basically determines the way you act. The way you act return, uh, basically determines what results you create, right? So results-based thinking or systems-based thinking is what we're gonna cover today and how you can make some of these problems that seem enormous not so fucking enormous going forward all right so I'll give you an example systems based thinking basically says this that everything that's happening in the world is the result of something that something else that's been happening in the world and that's the result of something else that's been happening in the world which is the result of something else that's been happening in the world right so for since the beginning of time something has been happening and something has been happening in response and we are here operating in the now based on something that happened previously. You know, two people got together, fell in love, or maybe they, you know, had some crazy wild sex and you ended up being born, you went through school, you know, you had some, you know, some, some fun, you know, maybe you had some not so fun in your childhood, whatever the case may be. You turned into a young adult, you did whatever you did, here you are today and you got whatever you got. And it's the result of all those things, you know, cumulatively acting on the now, right? So who you are today is a result of who you acted like or thought like in the past. So as by extension, if you recognize this, you can understand also that the future person that you want to create and the future person's circumstances that you want to create are the result of what you do right now, right? So if I want to create a different future, I have to act in the now, I can't act in the past, I can't act in the future, I just have this moment, right? So I'll give you an example of this. I've been talking to, like I said, some people who want to leave um, their, their full-time employment to go into business full-time for themselves, and they are fearful, you know, and they don't know what to do, and they're asking these really huge, huge questions, you know, like, how do I replace my income tomorrow? Well, that's probably not going to happen. You're not going to replace your fucking income tomorrow. Okay, in the same way that someone who needs to lose 100 pounds didn't get fat yesterday, right? It was the result of all of these things in this system that they bought into, this way of thinking that they bought into that got them where they are, right? So if you are working a job and you're making, you know, $52,000 a year just to make it nice and easy, you know, $1,000 a week, and you need to replace $1,000 a week in income, you know, in order for you to go and work your business or you need to grow your business to where it produces um, $52,000 a year in income for you, then you have to ask easier, smaller questions. Okay, so we know based on this example, and this is a, a conversation I had with a business partner, you know, and the numbers have been changed to protect the innocent. But basically, let's assume that you need to, that he needed to have $1,000 a week to walk away from his full-time job and work full-time in the fitness industry. All right. So, he has a gym, he opens his gym, he doesn't have any members, right? He's gotta grow his membership base, that's the only way he's gonna get paid. We're beginning with the end in mind, he needs $52,000 this year. Every member, after expenses, nets him $50, all right? Nets him 50 bucks. So in order to make $1,000 a week, he's gotta to get to 80 members, right? 80 times 50 is 4,000, correct? 80 times 50 is four thousand dollars that's what he needs to make all right so you got zero members how do I get four thousand dollars a month well forget about that let's figure out how to get one fucking member all right how do we get one member tomorrow question is how do we get one member 
not 80, right? Well, to get one member, we have to go up a level in the way we think about this problem and then back into it, okay? So let's go up a level from a member. Let me just ask you, you know, what do you have to do to get a, a gym member? Well, to go up a level, before that happens, you would have had to sell a gym membership, right? Well, let's say you haven't sold a gym membership, so let's say, how do I sell a membership? You go up a level from that, well, you need someone to sell a membership to, right? You need a prospect. Well, you don't have a prospect, so let's go up a level from that. How do you get a prospect? Well, you need a group of people that you can sift and sort, you know, leads, if you will, into qualified or disqualified leads in order to discern which of these people are going to be a prospect, right? So you're going to have to talk to, let's say, 10 people, and maybe five of them are prospects. So you have to get that, that lead. That's the next step. We well, don't have any leads, so how do you get a lead? Well, you go up a level from that. Easiest thing to do in today's world is to run a fucking ad, right? Well, you haven't run an ad, right? So what do you have to do to run an ad? You have to go up a level from that. You have to write an ad, right? Well, you've never written an ad, so you have to go up from a level from that, and you have to say, well, I can hire someone, or I can sit down and write my own ad. Now you have an ad, right? Well, where are you gonna run the ad? Well, I don't know. Where do these people hang out? Are they on Facebook? Are they on Google? Do they read magazines? It doesn't matter. I just need to put the ad in front of them. So now I go up a level and I decide where I'm going to put this ad. Right? Let's say in this example, Facebook, for example. Well, now I need to pay to run the ad. And let's say I decide I'm going to put out 10 bucks. 10 bucks a day to run this ad. You know, a couple Starbucks coffees to run this ad and we'll see what it does. So, I basically just reverse engineered a system to get to a sale. That's what I did by stepping up and out of this thing. Now I have the system. I know I'm gonna start on Facebook, I'm gonna run an ad, I'm gonna spend 10 bucks a day, that's gonna generate leads. Some of those leads are gonna be prospects, some of those prospects are gonna sign up, I'm gonna get one sale, all right? So I just got my one sale. That's how I do it, right? I break it down into baby steps, baby steps. Baby steps. So I got my one sell. Let's say it cost me twenty dollars to get a thousand views, as an example. I don't know. Maybe maybe more. Let's let's just say for the sake of sake of argument, it cost me twenty dollars to get the views that I needed to get the one prospect. All right. Well, I have the one prospect. I know after expenses, I'm making fifty bucks a month on this person, on this athlete, provided they continue to attend my gym. Now all I need to do is figure out how much traffic I bought and buy 80 times that traffic. Problem solved. Literally. I need to buy that traffic 80 times. Now I got, over a period of time, people coming through the door every day. I have prospects coming through the door every day. I'm making sale after sale after sale. Each sale builds on itself. And the next thing you know, I have a full gym. I have 80 people, you know, I have the income that I need and I can walk away from my job. Okay. So at its highest level, that would be a very basic example of systems thought. Starting at the beginning with the end in mind is stair stepping up, right, out of the thought process until you get to the thing that you can do right now, right? The thing that you can do right now. That's where you start. Back out of it until you find that thing and then start stepping into it until you get one of the end result. Once you get one of the end result, you scale it up. Now that system, again, systems thought, results thought, it's just a result, you know, that the sale is just a result of the system that we created. If it produced one, then we can buy more traffic or, or pay more, buy more ads, and we can generate two and three and 10 and 150 and ever how many we want to do, and just snowballs from there, right? So think of it, break down your problems, guys. Break down these big questions, these how do I leave my job questions. You're not going to do that tomorrow. It's going to happen over a period of time. And again, I'm giving you a very, you know, a very streamlined, simplified example because you're going to have attrition. People are going to leave, right? So you're going to have to make up, you know, for lost memberships, at, you know, as you go through. And there'll be a rate for that that you can factor into your system, right? But as long as your system is generate positive cash flow, positive, um, you know, membership base building type stuff, 
you know, new membership, new membership, new membership. If you lose one here and there, it might slow you down a little bit, but it's not gonna prevent you from achieving your goal. So just think about that on any problem you have. It'll work for dating, you know, it'll work for school, it'll work for choosing a career, it works for anything. Break it down, reduce it to the ridiculous, find the thing you can do today, and stair step down to the result that you want. Hope that helps you guys. I know it's a long, long video, and uh, you know, let me know if it helped or not. Drop me some comments below, and I'll talk to you next time.